Hey guys, this is Hung Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Another episode with Hung Van Gogh. And we have Queenie Hernandez here to lend me her canvas to create this neutral sculpted makeup look for you. I hope you like the look. Give us a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumb up. And don't forget to follow both Queenie and I on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start heavy makeup, I always use skincare prep. The first product I'm using is a lip balm. It's from Augustina Batter. The second product I'm going to use is the exfoliating toner. To me, this more like a toner serum hybrid and it does have salicylic acid in there which is really great for exfoliating and help to control your acne and the texture you feel is almost like a serum instead like a watery toner Eye cream I'm going to use is the eye cream from IS Clinical. You guys might see me use this eye cream a lot. I just like them on the makeup. So a lot of time some eye cream is great, but it does have that rolling thing that when you put foundation is rolled. And so it's really hard to use on the makeup. Same at moisturizer as well. The moisturizer I'm going to use is the cream, also from Augustine Butter. This is also a very, very fantastic cream to use on the makeup. I know it is a little on the higher price point. If you can afford it, you should try to get them. Queenie have dark circle under her eye. This is more like genetic. A lot of the time I find all of skin tend to have that as well. And you can use concealer alone or you can use some color corrector. I'm going to use a new color corrector from NARS. I like to use the color corrector before foundation concealer. I know some people use foundation first, then they use the color corrector after and then the concealer but I like to use before everything else and for foundation and concealer I'm going to use the Chanel Feather Le Mere Aqua it's a lighter to medium coverage foundation you can build really heavy if you want to it's more a luminous foundation for concealer I'm going to use the concealer also from Chanel I'm using two different shades number 20 I'm using to cover any redness or any blemishes Queenie has and the uh, under eye I'm using number 10. I like to use a little brighter concealer usually under the eye, the bridge of the nose and certain area just to create more dimension on the face like brightness and shadow and that's what I'm going to do. To start I'm going to use some color corrector first. Okay, for me. It's more like a peachy undertone. This is great to cancel out the dark circle under the eye. There are many different ways to do this. Some people, they even 
do the color corrector first, then they powder, and then they do foundation on top. Depend on how heavy the dark shadow is. Uh, for me, just a little bit before the foundation is all cleaning it. She doesn't need any more than that. And then you just blend it out there just a little bit before you use the foundation. For foundation, I put mainly in the center area and I blend it out. I'm going to use a Kapuki brush from Race Morris. And this brush is a great brush for foundation. It allows you to get the foundation for heavy coverage by pressing like this, or you can do a very light application if you want to get really light coverage. When you apply foundation around the under eye that you just put the color corrector on just don't move the product too much you just do it like this it's actually cover and stay really well for you close the eye for under the eye i'm using the concealer shade number 10 it is a little brighter but I like it. I think it's always give brightness under the eye area. But try not to use too much of the white color. I think a little brighter is nice. And a little bit on the bridge of the nose. Forehead. Look up for me. You can use your finger to blend it out. And I'm using number 20 concealer to cover any blemishes or anything that I want to cover. Remember, I use a lighter shade under the eye, but try not to use the same shade for cover blemishes or anything because it's going to look more pronounced when you do that. Try to get the concealer the same shade of the foundation when you cover any pigmentation or blemishes that way it's gonna blend seamlessly together for you. And just use a small brush like this and to pinpoint where you wanna cover. And then around the nose. A little bit around the mouth as well. For contour, I'm going to use contour stick from Makeup by Mario. This is the shade light medium that I'm using. And the contour stick, they also have one side of the contour brush here, like a blending brush, I mean. You can use that as well. Queenie, I don't think she need to have too much contour. And I'm gonna use just a little bit because the stick one side and the brush one side. I'm going to use a separate brush because I don't want to apply directly into the skin. I want to blend the same time, I mean. And he also come 
with the complexion brush as well. You can use that. And I can use like this to do a little shading. Because the look I'm doing is very sculpted. So I'm gonna give her quite nice cheekbone and jaw and everything. So I chose the contour shade, you see it's more a softer. Mario came out six different shades. If you prefer more a darker, more defined, you can use a darker shade. But I think a softer sculpt is, is beautiful. For powder, I'm going to use the powder from Chanel Beauty as well. Shade number 20, the translucent powder. Look up for me. A little bit under the eye area. and the T-zone. For bronzer, I'm going to use the bronzer from Makeup by Mario as well. It's the same shade as the contour. It's light medium. And the bronzer, again, I always want to remind people to not try not to swirl like this because you really damage the bronzer and it have too many kickback. I like to use just like this. And instead of using the powder to set, you could use the bronzer to set the contour earlier. The way he does is one, two, three, four, five, six. The shades, uh, six different shades, exactly the same shades as the contour. So it's easy for you to purchase which one you want. For eyebrow, I'm going to use the eyebrow pencil and the eyebrow marker from Kevin Ugon. Queenie have beautiful full brow and I like them a little arch, but I think I'm just gonna feel a bit right there and just accentuate the arch. I didn't tweeze the brow or do nothing. I love how full her brow and I love how natural it look and I'm just gonna enhance it. Two stars. I'm not gonna feel anywhere right there. I'm just gonna use a brow pencil and extend it this area a little bit. And I want to maintain the arch exactly. Next, what you're gonna do is you can use the marker and create some individual hair. If you want them a little thicker, you can. You can draw individual hair like this. And take your time, you know. If you wanna do more solid eyebrow, you can use the pencil only. I like the eyebrow more defined, but then I like to see the individual hair. So I like to use this kind of marker to, to give more uh, shape, but then again, it still look natural. It's up to you. You can, you know, some people would like before to tweeze all the hair out, all the hair on top, or they use concealer to define everything. I think sometimes it look really harsh. I like to leave everything kind of the way it is and just define the shape of the eyebrow. For the eyes, I'm going to use this more like a taupey shadow palette and a liner, more like a grayish taupe as well. It's from Estee Lauder for both. To start, I'm using this second shade right here, all over the eyelid. I don't want to do the eye too dark and everything more softer, just a little sculpted. And that's the whole point. I'm using this palette. Close your eye. Look 
look up for me a little bit on the lower lash line as well Next, I'm using these shades right here. Close your eye along the upper lash line. And I blend it out. I don't want to go too far in, just almost like three thirds. And I blend it out. And a little bit on the crease area as well. If someone who have deep set eye like this, you don't have to use too much product deposit, just a little bit and you use the brush to blend it out. If someone have less lid space and you want more defined, then you can use a little more products here and you just define them more. So you can see just two shadow and it make a huge difference on the shape already. I use the first shade here, down here, all over the lid, the second shade, just that. I'm going to use the first shade again, close your eye, I'm just blending out the edges a little bit. And then I'm using another brush with this lightest color here. Close your eye. I'm put mainly in the corner area here. And kind of fade it back. I'm not going to use these shades because I like to keep everything more of the matte finish on the shadow. So next, what I'm going to use is the same shades. A little bit the inner corner of the eyes as well. everything matte texture and then I go back to the first shade blend out the edges as well and that is the shadow you can stop right here you don't have to use eyeliner just use mascara and you're done but I'm gonna use a little bit of the toppy gray shadow close your eye to define the outer corner of the eye a little bit even more not too much you can even use a black liner or a black liquid liner just make it more feline i like everything kind of blended so i want to keep very subtle on the corner look down for me look down in this way and then I also do the upper waterline as well. This way. Let's see. And you can see the difference. It's not a huge difference on both sides, but for me, I think this is way more defined and feline on the eye shape. I always curl the lashes, look down for me. Even a little pinch, it still make a big difference when you do mascara. For mascara, I'm going to use the Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. I'm going to use two coats on the upper lashes and one coat on the lower lashes. Creamy have 
incredible long lashes so i don't think we need to add any more lashes at all except for this mascara they know for volume and lengthening so that's all she needs for lower lashes i'm going to use just only one coat Queenie have really long lashes so i'm just gonna press the mascara on the lash line and i don't want to pull down because it's gonna make the eyelashes look too spidery so you see what i'm doing i just make sure the mascara mainly on the base near the lash line for setting the eyebrow i'm going to use the brown styling wax from anatasia For blush, I'm going to use a shade that almost like a bronzer with a hint of color and everything with more, you know, not too much color on the cheek and everything. It's the color called She Seductive from Patrick Ta Beauty. He is a makeup influencer in Los Angeles, mainly on the upper cheek area. And I like this color because it's subtle. It doesn't give you a lot of like pink or peach, just a little more skin tone like, just enhancing. For highlighter, I'm going to use this highlighter from Tom Ford Beauty. The whole look is very matte, so I'm not gonna overly highlight the face. Just a little bit to enhance on the cheekbone area. A little bit on the nose, the mouth, the usual area that I always do. For lips, I'm going to use this lip liner color from Huda Beauty called Flirt and the lipstick and gloss duo from Citizen and it's called Dubai and the color is a little bit darker than lipstick. I just want to define a little bit before I do the lipstick. To start, I'm doing mainly on the upper part here. I don't want to go too much out of the natural lip shape. I just go a little bit in like this. And then I go high up. And also I'm going to do a little dark in the corner there. So I should use a little lip liner. Same on this side. Creamy natural lip shape is kind of going down a little bit like that. So I cheat coming up a little bit right here. So if you do have lip shape like that, all you need to do is just use a little concealer, soften the edge it gonna help you a different lip shape smile for me this also a concealer brush but I use them for lipstick open for me and the is in lipstick they have one side lip gloss one side a matte lipstick um, I only use the matte side I don't use the lip gloss side today And it's more like a cooler tone, nudie pink color that I'm using right now. I'm going to finish the look with some setting spray from Urban Decay called All Nighter. That's the final look, guy. It is more sculpted, neutral shades. I don't want to call it a northern nighty makeup look, but it is also inspired from the 90s. I love the 90s so much, but this is another take on it. And 
it's pretty modern in a way that you can still wear it nowadays. I hope you like the look. Thank you Jacob very much. You created this beautiful hair for me today. And thank you Queenie, come to the channel for lending me your canvas. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to follow both Queenie and I on Instagram as well. Thank you.